was that? What are those voices? My entire life. I'm trapped in here. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. My old music box. I, I have to get it. I have to... Those horrible dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box and her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. Time to gather my things. I'd always dreamed of traveling. I was not the same without you, Harry. I'm definitely going to miss this bed. Falling asleep to the ship's rocking was delightful. It's not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't always get what you want. It's a relief that I don't need it to walk anymore. Merveille de Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I think. The Amazing Adventures of Nora Everhart, Art Teacher. After spending so much time reading this book, I think I've learned a thing or two about Polynesian culture. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. Oh, I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. Love this song. Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. Right, now it's open. Harry Everhart, 
My husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it, and some enigmatic instructions. This strange and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. What was I thinking when I brought all these dresses all on this trip? Man. The motor boat is ready. Captain Hodgson has a very particular taste when it comes to decor. Hmm. I think I've overpacked. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. Lower the motorboat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Well, here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, old pal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refused to even name. Everything is familiar. So familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? There's definitely something strange about this place. if I can find any trace of you around here. I'll leave my things in the boat until I find somewhere to camp. I know it's just resonance, but I do love listening to the sea in them. So somebody was on this island recently. Well, that's a vivo, a flute that the Polynesians play with their nose. I won't be playing that. A miniature va'a, 
A Polynesian outrigger canoe. Beautifully crafted, too. A note written in French. I only understand two words, ill and mort, island and death. It must be a warning about the dangers of the island. This machete is completely worn down. The blade is dull. I feel quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. An offering of Mother of Pearl, quite valuable for the Polynesians. Looks like it opens from the other side. These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. A bone fish hook. but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. What a lovely flower offering. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? A carving tool. This box. CW. Those are the initials on the brass key. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. What? Someone carved my name in the back of this Unu. Well, look what's hidden here. Works. 
This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. Is that... Harry? Harry! You were here! You were here and I found you, damn it! Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? A mechanical bridge? That doesn't fit in with Polynesian traditions either. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier, but a Polynesian version. It's been years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. What a beautiful mountainous landscape. I feel the air is denser here in this mangrove swamp. Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. <laughs> and I thought Colorado was too far from home when we moved there. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But I have to do it with you, old pal. This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it. My, this is so beautiful. <laughs> what were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. Polynesian chieftains make their head ornaments with lorikeet feathers. What a lovely souvenir. There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this uni. I'll draw the symbol in my journal.
chocolate. That's convenient. Harry said that he would go to the end of the world to find a cure. And by the looks of it, he wasn't lying. We promised we'd never lie to each other from the moment we started dating, no matter how harsh the truth. How long have I been walking? I've lost track of the time. Wow, what is this place? I'd better have a look around this abandoned village. Harry's crew might have stayed here. This enormous stone slab looks like a mechanism to get up to the outcrop. Hmm, is something missing here? A tiki, like something straight out of an adventure novel. It's some sort of Polynesian coat of arms. Is that an octopus? The Everhard Expedition. They set up camp here. Hmm, something's missing inside that emblem. these tikis be some sort of guardians? A Polynesian man covered in tattoos. I'm not sure if he looks angry or scared. Well, what well? So now you believe in magic, old pal? Looks like some of the crew members didn't get along too well. A forbidden ritual? Fascinating.
Let me record it. So, you said you've been on this island before. Yes. Some years ago. I made a rookie mistake. I did it from my fishing route to go to what looked like a better spot. Less than an hour had gone. I went suddenly. My va'a. My canoe overturned. And I got this lovely souvenir from that mistake. Heavens, what gave you that scar? It's not a what, but a who. I don't know. I didn't get a good look at it. But it seemed like a sea creature I never seen. Anyway, I was lucky enough to reach that white sand beach. The one where we landed on the island. A man came three days later and got me out of there. He brought me to the port of Papete without speaking a single word. Time passed, and I promised myself that I would go on with my life and forget about this damn island. Why did you agree to return to the island, then? I need to know what happened to me, to discover the truth. I don't know if you get me. Absolutely. They're composed of four pieces. It's broken, but I might as well draw what I can see of it in my journal. This fella sounds pretty hot-headed. Blowing an ancient hatch with dynamite sounds like a fool's errand to me. Ooh, looks like someone didn't like you very much, Harry. I've never cared much for games of chance. I'm not sure what to expect on this island, but I hope I won't regret not having a gun. Nice comb. Who worries this much about their appearance in a place like this? They were packing a lot of heat when they came to this island, but they took all the guns with them. Very neat. His real name was... Costas? <laughs> Looks like this fellow was a real heartbreaker. Quite a looker. A fashion model, maybe. Damn it. Someone on the expedition died. What a delicate piece of craftsmanship. Something's missing here.
He seems confused, as if he was having a hard time writing this down. A farewell message from a friend. I never thought that this expedition would cause anybody's death. Oh, I'm sure Harry never thought so either. If he'd known this was going to happen, he'd never have come here. Did they use all the dynamite? I hadn't been close to a grave since my mother's burial. Shortly after she died, my lovely Dalmatian spots, as Harry used to call them, appeared. I thought it was nothing at first. The river cuts through that canyon. It doesn't look safe to cross. this hammock so far from the rest of the campsite. <laughs> Look at this little fella. An amulet with a carved Marquesian cross. The symbol represents balance and protection. I must have found the luxury huts. Pretty swanky. I've seen Harry keep even restaurant checks for bookkeeping. He would never tear up a piece of valuable information.
Got it. being ripped out of something else. That Frank seems to feel guilty for whatever happened. I feel really bad for him. More drawings. Considering how poorly Harry draws, this isn't half bad. Interesting. Look at him. Giddy as a schoolboy. Icor? Look at him. Giddy as a schoolboy. Icor? The parts of the tiki on this column seem movable. You put together quite an expedition, Harry. And all just for little old me. This explains why the campsite is nearly abandoned. Something's missing here. Jeepers! A stranded ship! Other planes of existence. That's bats. Black ooze. In a telescope? The Harry Everhard I know would never have given up on this. Something must have happened that kept him from solving it. Where did you get this strange device, Harry? Not really sure how this thingamajig works, or what to do with it. My dear old pal, I know you won't ever read this letter, but I'm accustomed to writing you and it comforts me in this strange place. This island is riddled with secrets. So many secrets. But I'm not only talking about mechanisms and contraptions, Laura. I dare say that something on the island clouds one's judgment. Otherwise, I don't have an explanation for Roy's actions. The man was arrogant, impulsive, and a little cocky, but he was no fool. We weren't friends by any means, but he didn't deserve what happened to him. Nobody deserves that. We may have made some progress in finding the cure for your illness, but at what price? I miss you so much, Nora. Harry. He may not say it explicitly, but Harry blames himself for Roy's death. I know him too well. And I miss you too, Harry.